hi ladies welcome to my channel my name is jasmine and in today's tutorial i am going to guide you on how to make this long mesh band in this tutorial i will be using just one color to demonstrate how to make it but in the next slide or so i am going to list all the colors that i used to make the colorful pants that you see in the picture just in case you want to recreate it the exact way that i re i made this one okay so for this colorful one i used 10 colors and i worked five rows of each color for the materials i am going to use a size 3 acrylic yarn for the colorful pant, I used about 30 to 40 grams of each color, okay? And a 5 millimeter hook, a measuring tape, a stitch marker, scissor, and darning needle to sew in all your ends. And these are all the colors I used for the colorful pant. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. To start off our pants, you're going to make a slip knot and then make chains that is equal to your hip measurement. These chains must be in multiples of 6 and when you divide the total number of chains that you get by 2, it must give you an even number. I made a total of 132 chains and as you can see it stretches to 37 slash 38 inches which is perfect for a size small. After you've had your total chains you are going to slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. And then to begin row 1, chain 1, this chain 1 does not count as a stitch, single crochet in that very first chain then chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 after your 11 chains you're going to skip five chains and then single crochet in the next chain then chain 11 again skip five chains single crochet in the next chain chain 11 skip five chains single crochet in the next chain so you're going to continue this all the way around until you have five chains left At this point, you should have 5 chains left. So we are going to chain 5 and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch. To work your treble crochet, you are going to yarn over 2 times. Insert your hook in that single crochet stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through last 2. And that chain 5 treble crochet will act as your chain 11 space, okay? So for row 2, chain 1, turn. Single crochet in that same space and insert a stitch marker in that first single crochet stitch so that when you walk all the way around to that point, you don't miss it, okay? So after you've done that, you are going to chain 11, and single crochet in the next space, chain 11, single crochet in the next space, chain 11, single crochet in the next space. From this point forward, it's pretty simple, okay? So you're just going to repeat that until you get to your last chain 11 space.
after you've worked your last single crochet in the last uh, space you are going to chain five and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch and that completes our row two For row 3, we are going to repeat row 2, okay? So chain 1 turn, single crochet in that very first space and remember to place a stitch marker in that first single crochet stitch. Chain 11, single crochet in the next space. Chain 11, single crochet in the next space. Chain 11, single crochet in the next space. And just continue that until you get to your last space. To complete row 3, we are going to chain 5 and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch. Alright, so from this point on, you are going to just repeat this row until you get to the length that you desire before we attach the crotch area. Keep in mind that this pattern is very stretchy lengthwise, okay? So don't make too many rows. I made a total of 10 rows and it measures 7 inches when it's not stretched but when you stretch it out it measures about 10 to 11 inches okay to determine where we are going to attach our crotch first you are going to count out your total chain 11 spaces and then you are going to subtract 2 from that total and then whatever number you get, you're going to divide by 2. The final number you get is the number of chain spaces that you are going to skip. After skipping, the next one you're going to attach a stitch marker there. Okay? In my case, I have a total of 22 spaces. 22 minus 2 is 20 and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So not counting that very first space, I am going to skip the next 10 spaces and attach a stitch marker in the next space. For the crotch area, I am going to chain 11. You may need to add more chains if necessary for a larger size. Okay, so after your chain of 11, you are going to slip stitch in that space that you inserted the stitch marker in. And make sure to slip stitch from the outside of your pants instead of the inside, okay? And after the slip stitch, please don't remove the stitch marker. To start off the legs of our pants, we are going to chain one and single crochet in that same space. Chain 11 single crochet in the next space chain 11 single crochet in the next space and repeat that all the way around until you get to the last space before your crotch area After your last single crochet, you are going to chain 11 and place a single crochet in that space that the crotch is attached to, okay? So that space is actually the chain 5 treble crochet that we made in row 10. After that, chain 11, 
skip five chains on the crotch area and single crochet in the next chain then chain five skip the last five chains on the crotch area and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch and that completes our row 11. For row 12, we are just going to repeat our usual mesh pattern. So chain 1 and turn and place a stitch marker in that very first um, single crochet stitch. And then chain 11 and single crochet in the next space. Chain 11, single crochet in the next space. And just repeat that all the way around until you get to your last space. After your last single crochet, chain 5 and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch and that completes our row 12. For row 13, we are going to repeat row 12. So chain 1 turn, single crochet in that first space chain 11 single crochet in the next space chain 11 single crochet in the next space repeat that all the way around until you get to your last space after your last space you are going to chain 5 and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch and then you are just going to keep repeating this row until you get to your desired pant length so if you want your pant to be um, ankle length, just continue row 12 until you get to um, your ankles, okay? So I have not completed my legs. I will do that off camera but i ended up working 45 rows for the legs to start off our second leg we are going to attach yarn in the space that has the stitch marker after you've attached your yarn you are going to chain one and single crochet in that same space chain 11 skip five chains on the crotch area and single crochet in the back of the next chain chain 11 skip the next five chains and single crochet in the next space that the crotch is attached to then chain 11 single crochet in the next space chain 11 single crochet in the next space repeat that all the way around until you get to your last space after you've worked your last space as usual you are going to chain five and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch and that will complete our row 11 for the second leg.
so for the next row we are just going to repeat row 12 of the first leg so you know what to do already <laughs> So chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first space, chain 11, uh, single crochet in the next space and repeat all the way around. When you get to your last space, chain 5 and treble crochet in the beginning single crochet stitch. I probably sound like a broken record at this point. <laughs> okay, so... After that, you're just going to repeat the same pattern until you get to your desired length. So basically, repeat what you did for your first leg, okay? That's it. That's all you have to do. Now that we are done with the bottom of our pants, we are now going to come back to the first row to attach a waist tie. I made 250 chains for the waist tie. To attach the waist tie, you are going to skip that very first single crochet stitch that you made in row 1. And then um, put your hook under the next stitch and pull through one end of your waist tie. Skip the next single crochet stitch. Put your hook under the next stitch and pull through the same end of the waist tie. So basically pull your waist tie through every other stitch and repeat that all the way around. And then adjust your waist tie and you're done with your pants. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please give this video a thumb up and consider subscribing so you don't miss my tutorials. If you do have any tutorial requests, please leave them in the comment section or you can message me on Instagram at playful.regal and I am also on Facebook, okay, at playfulregal. Thank you for watching again and I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.